guys, Fabulik here today, and welcome back to Software Inc. We're playing beta, I believe it's a 7.1, so this is uh, available on Steam. If you if you own Software Inc, you have to go into like options and then select the beta. Uh, but it has a whole bunch of new features in it that I really wanted to check out. It's been a while since we finished up the previous series, so let's give it a go. This is going to be, and I'm going to say it now, it's going to be a mini-series, uh, so it's going to have a maximum of 10 episodes. I'm going to say that right now, maximum of 10. And the reason I say that is because I've already played a bit of this beta. It is fairly, I guess, unbalanced at this point in time. Like you can make a lot of money really quickly. Uh, so, and, and the, the developer himself said it still needs balancing and all that kind of stuff. So I don't want to commit to a, like a super long series in this because it's going to get out of whack real quick. So we'll do 10 episodes max. That's not even the guaranteed max, but we may do five episodes or something, but 10 at maximum is what we're going to do on this series, and that is it. So, the name of myself is obviously going to be Flabs, that's who I am. Uh, my hairstyle, I don't want to be balding. At least because you start when you're 20 years old. <laughs> Mate, I'm 21 and I'm not bald yet, so I'm doing pretty well if this guy was bald at 20. Uh, skin is skin tone, it's about, yeah, no, that's right. Uh, oh, I could, ooh, why don't we mix it up and just go white? <laughs> just go, no, let's just go. Let's go natural. Oh, not that one. That's not my skin tone. That's closer to my real skin tone. There we go. Um, all right. And then pants. Oh, uh, do I want? I don't want short. Oh, you know what? Let's. Uh, why aren't they like above the knee shorts? That's what I want. These are like more. These are more like three quarter length pants. Uh, I mean, I, I realize that's not not really a huge issue. Let's go orange pants. Uh, and we'll go. Oops. No, I don't want to change the color. I want to change. My upper body. Okay. Oh, white shirt. Beautiful. Looking good, Flabs. Looking good. I'm going to be an introvert, because you know that's who I am. And I'm going to be... Uh, I reckon... Ooh, 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 ooh. I reckon I could be pretty pretty stubborn. I, you know, like when I have a good idea, I feel like it's the right idea. And I'm going to be stubborn about that. So don't you tell me what it's a good idea, because I know what's good. Uh, I'm going to be a little good at marketing. So... I'm going to do system design. These are my specializations to start off with anyway. Uh, system design. Uh, coding. We're going to be good at, yeah, system. Because 2D goes out of fashion pretty quick. And we've got audio. Um, so, starting money. Yeah, we'll start off with 13,000. Make it a little bit challenging. Year 1980. Sure. I, I always prefer to play in the city as well. So we'll do that. Difficulty medium. Yep. Days per month one. Otherwise the game goes on forever. All right. That's all we need to do. So loading up the game. And I'll be able to show you some of the, the sort of main changes as we get into it. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is change my hours. That's not what I wanted to do. Change my hours because I usually like them working a little bit later. We'll go 8 to 7, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. That'll be fine. Okay. So uh, I can show you some of the new things now. No, actually, we're just going to build mode, because there's new things in build mode anyway. They have, like, all the sort of diagonal walls you can do now, like... See, this is what I wish Sims had. Because in Sims, you can only do 45 degree diagonals, but this game you can just do whatever you want. And the, the brilliant thing is you just go, like, doot, 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 make the grid tiny, and you can basically free build anything. Like, it's... You can, yeah, it's cool. It's cool, basically. But I'm going to... I don't want to build my building like that. Uh, we don't have a lot of money. We only have 13,000, so we can't go too crazy yet. But I would like... I would like a diagonal entrance. Why not? I think it might be nice. I'll have it on the corner there. Uh, so we'll, this will be our little starting office. That's what we'll start off with. Simple as that. We'll have a little door. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, no, it can go in the middle. I was wondering if it could. Uh, now, the cool thing is with uh, these windows, you can actually drag them and make a full glass wall. But I'm not exactly made of money, but let's do it. Oh, it's only 156 bucks anyway. Let's do it. So yeah, that's new. Be able to do that. <laughs> there we are. Oh, look at that. A little software company there. I could have actually just put this on the border, because this isn't Sims. I forgot they could do that in this game. Anyway, uh, so there's a whole bunch of new items as well uh, for different things. So we'll have a look at some of those, but we'll get the desk first. I'm just going to, I'm going to sit in the corner. That's going to be me. Have a nice cheap chair. Uh, yeah, so you'll notice that there's all these little snap points. It shows you where, where chairs can go. Uh, and the cool thing is, so over here is the furniture snap. So I could even, if I wanted to, Put like desks on different angles and all that so you can sort of rotate them and do really interesting things which we'll definitely get more into throughout the series but because this is right at the beginning uh and we're gonna be we're basically gonna probably either heavily renovate or just bulldoze this whole thing as we go because we'll need to expand and all that kind of stuff now one thing that kind of annoys me is that the computers are now on a slight angle and it looks kind of like it, it, it looks okay with the laptop because i've added laptops it looks okay with that um 
But the reason, first of all, the reason they're like that is because there's new little uh, bonuses that you can add on. So there's a phone for support, which I be- I, I'm guessing that's for when you have support teams or your team's working on support. So basically, so you can add like a little booster object next to the computer. Uh, so for programmers, a calculator is a good way to go. Uh, drawing tablet would be good for artists. Uh, inbox, I don't even know who that's good for. It's productivity. So I guess it just overall more organized. But because I'm going to be programming mostly, we've got a little calculator for myself there. Right, so we need to get some temperature in here because this room will get too hot. So I've added new devices in here. We've got an AC unit, which actually now, this will take care of an entire building. So everything that is connected to this building, it will cool down. Uh, I, I don't know, but I believe it would have a limit and then you would just have to place more units or something. Uh, we may as well use this because it's not even that expensive. 650 bucks, we'll go, we'll go for it. Look at that little panel on the wall. Nice. There it is. I believe it's quite loud though. So see how we go. Uh, we'll need heating. I think we'll use the old heating method because the new one, while it is cheaper, it's bloody massive. Uh, I don't like it. But you know what? No, we'll use it. There it is. That's the new heater. It's like a furnace. It's like a furnace that just sits in the room. Then there is central heating that you can use for the, the same thing as the air conditioner. It'll do the whole building. Uh, obviously, we don't really need that yet. Uh, so, as I'm just by myself, I don't really need anything. Um, your own character is pretty much superhuman, so we can kind of... Just, I'll decorate the room to make it look nice, but that's about it. Uh, 152% decoration need, I guess. And then we'll get some ceiling lights in here too. We'll get one there and one there. So that will take care of everything we need to do. You know what? We'll make the room look a little bit nicer. Uh, interior, floor. Let's go floor. Get some floorboards. Get the classic old floorboards up and running. Uh, room colors. We'll go flooring and we'll make that just a nice light sort of bleached. Not bleached. Oh yeah, like a bleached floorboard. Just like that. That's nice. Uh, and then we'll go room colors, interior. How about nice... A nice light green. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. What a little office that is. Right, so to start off, we only have $7,000. So what we'll do, we'll do some contract work first just to build up a little bit of capital. Uh, logistics app, 50% artist. It gives me a month to do that. Uh, we should be able to do that. We'll find out. So I'll come into work eventually. Uh, one month left. Good. I was hoping that didn't start because I actually started this yesterday. So anyway, so here we are. Yeah, that's the little heater. It's like a bloody furnace that turns off. That is loud. <laughs> I can hear it here. 85 decibels in this room. Oh my god. We might need to move that into another room because if we get other employees in here, they're going to be real angry. <laughs> wow. 80. Isn't that like a dangerous amount? I don't, I don't know. Also, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to actually get this finished. Uh, we'll get to this goal, but then we have a few more levels we have to go through. Um, 85. I feel like that's a dangerous level to have volume at. Okay, so develop. Uh, we got to get this done before 6 p.m. I don't actually know that we are. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll get it. But then we got to do... Oh, there we go. Come on. Just... Uh, uh. Oh, so close. Good enough. Uh, $11,000. Yeah, we're close enough that it counted, so that's fine. So we've got $18,000. You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to move that air conditioning into another room. <laughs> I'm just going to build another room right here. And then... Oh, I deleted my air conditioning. Did I get my money back for that? I don't think I did. Uh, we're going to move the air conditioning there. I'm just going to have a door and then we're going to put it in here. Because I feel like that's a little too loud. Uh, where is my air conditioning? Needs. That's No, it's not needs. Temperature, of course. Uh, so that will go into there. There you go. There's no lights in there though, so I'll get that. There you go. Alright, so now your room is back to 10 decibels. And that one is a deafening 85. <laughs> Alright, so we got $17,000 out. It should actually be enough money to keep us going for quite a while. So we're going to try to develop a new software. Now here's where a bunch of the new features are as well. So you can now set the price for your software, which is actually very important. So we'll start off as we usually do with a visual tool. Uh, category, there's no categories for visual tool, but what they are. So an operating system, you can do like a computer operating system, console or phone. Although I feel like this is beta, so keep in mind that obviously some things will change. I feel like you shouldn't be able to make a phone operating system in 1980. Uh, <laughs> Which I presume that will change later on, but this is beta, so let's forgive that. Uh, this is, like, this. that's why this isn't, you know, pushed to everyone's game. You can, you can choose this, though. Um, right, so anyway, so we'll go back to Visual Tool. Default, there's no other options. Uh, and then we're going to choose what operating system we want. This is a new change as well. So it now shows you, uh, obviously, the retail price of each of these things. The licenses, what you had before. It also has active users. Instead of uh, the amount, oh, I think it was market share, whatever the hell it was before, but now it's the number of physical users on it. 
Uh, so that's actually kind of cool. So we're going to go auto by active user and we're basically just going to do it that way. So it's $9,000 for a license here. But we have 17000 so I think that may be a good idea. Uh, and we've got image editing and QA. It's suggesting 53, but I what I would recommend is you go into all software and you filter for whatever you're making. We're making a visual tool. Let's go by release date. So people are charging 29, 37, 46, 22, but that probably has less features, that one. So if we charge, if we basically undercut everybody else and make ours cheaper, but also really good, you can pretty much make a killing. Like, well, look, look at that, 142 million. Uh, so let's go, if we sell for like 25, so we undercut the latest one, even though it was bad, we go 25 bucks. We'll still make enough money for myself anyway, but we may have a chance of like destroying competition by making it cheap enough. So we'll do that. It says recommended team size three, but that's fine. It'll just take us a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and develop. Uh, oh, I picked a name for my software. Well, obviously it's going to be Image Pro because it's a visual tool. There we go. Uh, so you can do, I don't want to do marketing now, but uh, you could always do marketing during development, but now it actually has a significant impact in that it will actually build up hype for your game. What is your problem? You don't seem to be fully green. Oh, no, you are. I don't know, those numbers looked a little white, so it didn't look like you were quite up to the task. Um, yeah, so it'll build hype around the, the program if you're marketing it while developing it, uh, which is a little bit of a change from before. Also, you may have noticed there's little arrows here for priority. Obviously, they're not going to do anything when you only have one task. But if you have multiple tasks going, you can set it up to 10, so you can sort of layer the tasks. So you could do, you know, 10 priority on marketing, 5 on image pro developing or something, and then it would you know, do twice as much on marketing as it would on development, if that makes sense. But now we kind of just play the waiting game because we don't have a lot of money. Uh, what are our daily bills? We don't actually know yet, or our monthly bills, technically. We don't know yet because we just spent a lot of money yesterday. So let's wait until tomorrow, then we'll see how much we're spending. Um, 759. I guess the air conditioning is probably quite expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's probably, it's probably pretty expensive to run that, I would imagine. That's probably where most of our money is going. Uh, we, I think we may not use that. <laughs> let's, let's get rid of the, uh, the air conditioning unit. Uh, that's probably costing us a lot of money. We'll just get a little air vent, because that'll be more than enough. Uh, we could even just do a fan. You know what, let's do a fan. Because you guys like fans. Probably, I don't know. I don't know if they can, uh, maintain it from there. I don't I have no idea. But anyway, it's a fan that sits on the roof and spins around. Which would probably make our bills a little bit cheaper. I will call in cleaning soon. Um, but we're not made of money right now, so we'll worry about that later. All right, halfway through designing of Image Pro. Not too shabby. How much are we spending now? 384. There you go. We, we cut our bills in like half because we're not using this stupid air conditioning anymore. Uh, so we can last twice as long. It's called cleaning. That'll cost me a little bit of money, but they will make the room look nice and good. All right, so we've got $5,000 left. Um, we're getting, well, we're paying 384 a day. Oh, we paid a little bit more because we had to get cleaning today, but, uh, not too shabby at all. So... Let us keep developing. Look at that little room in there. It's great. I think when we release this, we will, uh... We'll be in the money. We're in the money. Almost. We're in the money. Almost. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, can we get that developed any slower, please? Any slower, please? I could make it slower if I did marketing. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna slow it down anymore. Uh, alright. So, we're, we're pretty close to wanting to develop that. Uh... I mean, the thing is, if we get too low on money, we can always do more contract work and just get a huge boost in cash. So we might actually do that. Maybe we'll develop this. Well, we'll promote it to the development stage in a second. So I'll develop that. Uh, and now I will... Can I assign... that? The assignments have changed too, by the way. You can now assign two teams to the same project or more than two teams to the same project, which is fantastic. So that means you could technically do a 24-hour development cycle. You could have one team during the day, one team during the night. Or you could have like a break in between. So you have one team in, during the day, one team at night, then you have like cleaning and maintenance come in between. Uh, which I'm pretty excited to try out that technique. That sounds like a lot of fun having round-the-clock workers. Uh, anyway, so what I want to do is do a contract work. Just so we can get, do some contract work so we can get a little bit of money. 50% artists. Required quality bad, so that one sounds like it's going to be easier to do. Uh, probably should have started this at the beginning of a day, but, oh well. Shouldn't take us too long. Oh, look at him go! Flying through it! Because the quality is so bad. Alright, develop that. Uh, if we don't get this done today, we'll definitely get it done tomorrow, so that's fine. Uh, there you go. Uh, I think we'll, you'll have to wait. we'll have to wait for the beta till tomorrow, but that's fine. Oh, look at me in my orange shorts. I look great! Uh, the cow carrot ink. Alright, anyway, release that. There you go, guys. 
uh, assigned to oh, assigned to the core team. There we go. So we're now doing that back on Image Pro. So that just basically got us like 14,000 bucks doing quite well. I will put some money into our insurance fund because that's always useful. Not so much right now, but I think it will be nice to have that there because it does it does actually earn us interest. Um, and it'll, like it'll earn interest on it and directly go into insurance for us, so which will be nice. So we get a little bit more money here and there. We'll get, yeah, look at that, 23. <laughs> now who's jealous? Sucker. All right. <laughs> So we will probably want to start marketing this soon. But the only thing is, if we do market, it's going to really, really slow us down. Uh, like, really slow us down. I was, because when I was playing this before, because I wanted to make sure I knew all the kind of new features in the game, uh, it just took me forever. I, had to, I literally had to, like, multitask and do other things. It's because I'm the only employee. Once you get more employees, things really pick up pace, so then we can get really stuck into it. Um, where's my mouse? I lost it. <laughs> It's lost in between the snow. There we go. So we, I think, we'll start marketing when general is completed. How about that? Ah, almost 1981. We haven't even released our own software yet. That's fine. That's fine. Right, so we're in 1981 now. Welcome to a brand new year. Happy new year. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right. So uh, we'll market when general is done. And it is now done. Uh, so we'll market... Not television, because that's going to cost us too much. We could lower the budget, but we, we just want to do television right now. So, now we're going to set priority. I wanted to keep working on this some more. So, we'll do two priority on there and one on here. So, we'll do more work on that than this one. I imagine... I'm not 100% on this, but I imagine four priority and two priority being the same as two and one. Like, I don't know if... I, I imagine it just creates a ratio of workload. Uh, and it just has that many levels, so you could do many things with it. And I imagine like two and two is the same as one and one. I don't know if that's one hundred percent clear, but that's how I imagine it to be. <laughs> yeah, he's doing real crap marketing on this. Like he's not getting anything done. Uh, but that's fine because he's he's one dude. He's trying his best. We have one fan. Look at that one. How is someone? A <laughs> now we lost him. I was gonna say, how is someone a fan of our company if we've never even released anything? I guess we did some contract work, but even still, like. All right, we may actually up the ratio of... Oh, you got to be real careful with these as well. I actually mentioned this to the developer because uh, it's just one dude making it. I don't know if he's contracted anyone else in real life. But uh, anyway, I, I said to him, because I was, when I was playing this by myself, I was doing the priority things and cancel is right there. And because those arrows are so small, I was just like, whoop, cancel, damn it. And Because I said, you need to add like, a, are you sure you want to cancel this? Because I, I was in the beta phase and I was like, oh yeah, let me just lower the priority and up marketing. And then, oh god, I cancelled my project. It was awful. Because it took me like a couple in-game years to get the project done. And then I cancelled it all and lost all progress. That was really annoying. So hopefully uh, in a future beta, there's a are you sure button on that cancel. Or, I don't know, this UI has changed somehow. I don't know how you change it, but there seems to be an are you sure on the cancel button. That is, that is definitely what it needs. Wow, this is taking forever. All right, let's... uh. Whatever, just finish this. 10 priority, so you do ratio of 10 to 1 work, I guess. Again, totally guessing. I think that's how it works. Yeah, that's much quicker. I think it's better if we just get this out of the market and then market it. Um, you'll notice that uh, when we release this, it will start... And Oh, actually, that's one of the changes as well. Throughout the year, like the sales amount changes. So, for example, he said the sales in December are higher because obviously it's around the holiday period. Uh, and then it's like lower in January and that kind of stuff, so... Alright, so that is now actually done. So let's go ahead and release that. Uh, we will actually do everything. We can't afford to do everything right now, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna risk it. So he's marketing. Uh, let's actually open up this, this menu here. It's a little bit smaller uh, to about there, so we can see profit. Okay, can I just make these smaller? I don't, I don't need to see half of these things. Retail price, so let's just make, minimize these a little bit. So active users, I want to see. I want to see how many people we get actually using this. We don't have a lot of marketing, so the first month is probably going to be pretty slow. But uh, even this first whole product might be a little bit slow, but we'll see how we go. All right, so we're marketing, uh, and he's snoozing, and he's off, and we've made a net of zero. But that's... Yeah, we got zero people using it. But, but, I reckon tomorrow we'll get some sales. <laughs> I reckon otherwise that's lost money, but uh, we'll see how we go. But yeah, no, we've got a whole month of marketing now in July. So, hopefully, uh, tomorrow, 
We will uh, get some money. Otherwise, that's uh, definitely a lost profit. Well, profit minus 11,000. Um, 2,000 we've made. Hooray! 34 active users. We'll keep, we'll keep pushing this a little bit more. We'll keep marketing a little bit more. Um, just to see if we can get a little bit more. We got six whole fans, so... Because if we could make that profit, but this is a real slow start for this. If we could make that money back, that'd be great. And I realize the floor is absolutely filthy. We'll come back to that. I promise. I promise. Uh, okay. It's, don't snooze though. Please make some more money tomorrow. Oh, you're making even less. Oh, no. I think we're going to have to cut our losses. We're going to have to end that. We're going to have to cut our losses and... Um, Definitely gonna have to cut our losses here. Right, let's uh, pause up. Let's do some contract work. What have we got? Uh, zero artists required quality horrible. So that'll be really easy to do. Look at that. It's like nothing. Develop <laughs> and to promote. <laughs> that took like two seconds. Why do they even want that? All right, we, give, we made more money from doing that in two seconds. Uh, quality bad, artist 50%. We could probably do this too. Um, <laughs> we're making way more money doing this. But what this will do, this will give us plenty of money to uh, continue our software development exploits. There we go, release. Okay, so we've got $28,000. What I would like to do, first of all, no, not that. I would like to call cleaning. Uh, they'll come in and do all their thing. There we go. And when my dude gets up to leave, how's my computer going? It's still efficient. We probably don't need maintenance. Do we need, oh, somewhat working. We definitely need maintenance. I don't think we need IT though. Uh, so let's go call maintenance. So it'll be here in a second. Oh, no. Oh, there they are. So, oh, they can't. Ah, oh, they can't get to the fan. I was wondering if they could. I was wondering. Oh, I was hoping. Because there's no nowhere else to put it. I need to move those lights. Put the light there. I'll put this light there. Then the fan can go right there. So they should be able to get that. And I think. Ah, oh, it's somewhat working too. Get in there. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, we'll fix it later. All right, so my dude should come back into work today. We'll start up a brand new project. Let's see what we can do. We already did a visual tool, so let's not do that again. Let's go ahead. I was hoping, I was hoping that we were going to do really well on that. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll do some QA. Uh, we're going to put it on the one that we already have a license for, which is no longer the most popular either. Ah, but this one, it's a f why is there a phone operating system with a million users in 1981? I mean, yeah, beta, <laughs> again, it's a beta, I presume that will be tweaked and tuned as we go on. But at the moment, I don't think it actually matters. They made two billion on that! I want to make two billion. Let's just get a license for that. Uh, let's do it on there. So, let's have a look at how much audio tools are selling for. I need to make this bigger. Uh, yeah, let's see how much audio tools are going for these days. Uh, and undercut them. Audio tool? Uh, right, so we're going to go by release date and have a look. 61, 73, 72, 51, 67, 40, but that was 77. So I reckon if we go somewhere around $50, it'll be lower than the current ones. So that should be all right. Uh, but maybe we'll even go 45, we'll lower it a little bit more. Right, Visual Tool will be Image Pro, which unfortunately only has <laughs> 69 active users. It's unfortunate, but that's fine. Uh, we don't have an SCM. That's okay. This will obviously be sound. Oh, gee. What's happening with my typing? Sound Pro, I'm way off on the keyboard. Sound Pro, uh, there's no different categories there. Image Pro, core team, develop. Uh, I would not like to start marketing it just yet. Anyway, let's get on that and let's see how we go. I will cut forward in the video here because this will... I mean, we waited for the first one in real time and this... I mean, it's just sitting and watching, so I'll see you in a second. All right, so I've just spent a lot of money and time marketing throughout development as well. You can see I've been spending about 2000 every month. Uh, to do a little bit of marketing, pre-release marketing, and now we're going to actually release it and do full-on marketing again. So there we go. So Sound Pro is now out of the market. We did a lot of pre-sales marketing too. Uh, so let's have a look. <laughs> wow, Image Pro has got <laughs> 24 active users. I'm surprised that it, it can even get that low. Like there's still 24 people that want to use it. All right, so Sound Pro is out for a mobile operating system in 1982. Let's see how we go. Uh, there you go, $10,000. Haven't made a profit yet, but hopefully today with some extra marketing and because we're also approaching the holiday season, we'll get a little bit of money. We've also got 20 fans, so watch out. We're getting pretty, we're getting pretty famous now. Uh, yeah, no, let's hope, let's see how the second day goes. This might be even better. I think I'm also, like my character, yeah, he's 100% marketing skill now because I did so much marketing throughout that, but he's still really slow. Still really slow. Uh, let's see. Oh, there you go. Well done, buddy. 
$177,000. I am very proud. So we've got 4,313 active users. So what we're going to do now, we've got enough money. Uh, let me just call and clean. I'm not going to hire cleaning yet because that building's not big enough for that. Call and cleaning. But we've definitely got enough money to start getting a new team. Or getting, well, expanding the team, I guess. So what we'll do, we're going to turn... Oh, hang on. Let me wait till it's daytime so the lighting isn't all dark and horrible. See so yeah, how we go tomorrow. Uh, 96. Not a, not too great, but that's okay. Um, let's wait till it's a little bit brighter, sort of midday-ish. And we'll do a little bit of building. Okay. So we're going to expand backward here. We're going to go build an office in here, essentially. So we'll go... Um, yeah, we'll go diagonal. Oh, not like that. We'll go diagonal because we can. So we're going to actually just, we'll just use this whole space here. So this whole room like that. That'll be the new office area. We're going to probably remove that room because that was, that was an air conditioner room. We don't need that anymore. Let me get rid of that door as well. Okay, so this will turn into our lobby. So we'll have to... What I'll, what I'll do is I'll just move this stuff. Can I just move all of that? I can. Fantastic. So that'll go in there. I'm actually just going to delete the rest of the stuff. I've got enough money to delete things. No longer going to use the fan. Definitely going to get out the uh, the air conditioning. Or maybe just vents as well. Vents might be better. All right, so this will be our lobby. I should have set this as my default style, but I can. that's all right. We can just unify. Cool. All right, so that's part of the building there. Um, then... Uh, we need to figure out how this is really going to work. So let's go door to the office. There. Then we'll have a beautiful window like that. Um, we, we won't use the giant windows here. We'll use these sort of smaller ones. Oh, damn. They can't, can I drag them out? Oh, these ones don't drag. They don't drag. Uh, go away. Uh, can I... Do that in the middle. I just wanted it in the middle, that was all. Alright, so there's no yeah, temperature control on that. That's fine. Okay, so this will be the main office. Uh there will need a lounge. So what we'll do. Uh we're gonna go lounge. Ah, let's just build over here as well. Who cares? Let's just build the same thing. Get a beautiful building shape. There you go. Like that. Oh, look at that. Looks good. Uh, I don't know what this is going to be. This will probably be like the lounge and bathroom area. Oh, it's going to be too far away though. Maybe we'll make it like a server room or something. We definitely need a hallway. Actually, now that I think about it, or I need to change it. I need to change the design of this. It's already, it's already going horribly wrong. So let's go. Let's get a hallway in here. Uh, walls. This will be a hallway here. So we'll cut that off. We'll merge these two rooms together. Uh, how do I do that against one of these merge rooms like that? Beautiful. Then this will be a hallway up to that point. I don't know why I needed to go all the way around. Then we'll merge those two together. Uh, that one. There we go. So that is going to be one hallway. And then, yeah, so that will work. <laughs> that diagonal wall looks so weird. But it's going to stay there because it's cool. And we can do it. That can be a bathroom. Why not? That's probably not a good place for a bathroom at the front of the building. Oh, who cares? Let's do it. <laughs> Okay. Who cares? Let's do it. Uh, so that'll be bathroom. We'll get on that soon. Um, and then, well, these guys are going to need a meeting room because, you know, we're, we're going all out. We've got $200,000. Who cares? Let's do it. Uh, well, let's figure out how many people I want on the team. Probably six. I'm going to say six. No more than six. I think that's probably going to be enough. Office. Let's go desk. So my desk, I'm going to have a special desk at the end of the room. It's going to be there. I'll sit at the head of the room. Then maybe we'll have them sort of going down the middle or something. Um, oh, maybe we'll go like this. We'll go like this. Hang on, let me move. That's gonna, that's gonna stay being my computer. You know, I've got memories with it. <laughs> I'll upgrade my chair too. That's a real crappy chair. Uh, we'll go upgrade that. Probably customize some colors or something too. So we're gonna go one, two. I can't give everyone a double desk, but that's fine. So if we fill that in, we go one. Oh, damn it. <laughs> that chair was in the wrong spot. So yeah, we can get six. There's actually gonna be seven, but we'll. I only hire six people, so that'll be fine. Uh, we're going to go like that, like that. So we're going to get a whole team of people in here. We're going to make some awesome... Uh, I also bought a seventh computer. Didn't need to do that. Going to get a whole team of people in here. I'm sitting at the head of the room like an absolute boss. Literally, because that's what I am. Um, <laughs> what a good joke that was. I'm sure you guys liked it. Uh, can I select the chair, please? I'll sign those to me just to make sure I actually do sit there. Uh, right, in this room, uh, we will have a fridge because I I don't really want a separate lounge because I don't want them to have to walk too far away we'll have a separate fridge and that near the front of the room here I reckon so let's go needs 
we'll get a fridge there. And then maybe we get like a coffee machine or something over there. That'll be fine. So we'll do that. We'll go needs. We'll get a coffee machine. This should be enough for the amount of people. Well, I think I have six people, so this should be fine. Uh, decoration. Let's get a little bit of that. Oh, yeah. We need some servers for sure. Let's get a clock so everyone knows what time it is. There and there. Good. Get some beautiful greenery in the room too. Maybe there because that's not usable space anyway. Right. So we want to get air conditioning unit, don't we? That's what we want. Um, so we'll have that, we'll have like a little maintenance room somewhere, maybe, maybe over here. Uh, no, we'll do it here because, but, oh, okay, the air condition. so the air conditioner has to be on the outside of the building, which makes sense, so maybe it will be here. Uh, yeah, if we turn this into a room, so we'll do that, and then this will separate this out a little bit. Oh, can't do that, I think I just have to do this. Like that. Alright, so this will actually be part of that hallway, so we'll merge those two rooms together. So that's now a hallway that goes like that with a weird diagonal wall, which is kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> then we'll have maintenance room in there. Oh, that's not the right door. Uh, damn it. We'll have that be the maintenance room. This is going to be the server room. It's going to have a beautiful glass wall, because glass walls are cool. Oh, that's not a glass wall. Whoops. Uh, I always like my server rooms having giant windows on it for some reason. I don't know why. It's cool. Uh, it doesn't need a window to the outside though. Alright, so what we'll do... Get out some temperature control, we'll get an AC unit... There, that will take it. If you click on it, you can see that it actually does the whole building. Uh, and then we'll get the central heating unit here to... Here to, okay, good, good speaking. Which also controls the whole building's heating, so that is fantastic. So yeah, that's like, that's what I meant by a little maintenance room. Uh, and even even so, we'll get a little place for maintenance to sit in there. They can sit in that little shoebox. Uh, they can have a light on the roof too, there you go. Uh, the bathroom, I'm actually going to make the grid a little bit smaller here. So I can place things a little bit more precisely. Uh, that's going to be our server room, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, right, so this is going to need some lights in it too. Um, now, we don't need the grid to be that small, I don't think, because we can just put them in the middle like that. We'll get three lights in the middle, that's a lot of lighting, guys. A lot of lighting, that'll go there. Alright, server room. Uh, we're gonna go office, we'll just get some of these. I'm actually gonna change the color of the server desks, I think. Let's make them all white. So that's default for now. So we'll get a whole bunch of servers up there, there's gonna be way too many servers. I'm not gonna put that many. Probably one will be fine for now, to be honest. Right, so that'll go there. Uh, we'll need... what else do we need? So they... oh, we need the toilet. We haven't done that yet. There you go. Oh yeah, because heating and cooling is controlled by these two beautiful bastards now, so that'll take care of the whole room. So I don't have to put bloody vents in every room. How good is that? Decoration. We'll make this room a little bit nicer. 63. What is this one? 200% that room. Beautiful! That's 112 in there. Nice. This could use a little bit more. Uh, we'll get a clock over there so you know how long you've been pooping for. 69! <laughs> Not quite the right amount though. Um, uh, 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 let's just make the grid real small. Then we can probably get it in there. There we go. <laughs> uh, uh, no, not that tool. I want to reset the grid. There we go. So this is cool. You can align it to objects. So if something, so you can like align the grid to this particular wall. So if you have something that is rotated, then you can make the grid work that way. Which is a feature I wish The Sims had. That would be really cool. Let's just reset the grid. Uh, no, I don't want to use that tool. Go away. Stop making me use it. Okay. So I think uh, we have everything except for like a meeting room, uh, which is good. So, whoops, didn't mean to leave that. We'll do a meeting room. Here. So we need a table for seven, even though I'm only going to hire six, like I said. I wish... I, I, I wish at the very least the computers rotated different amounts, because... I don't like the more facing... They, they're rotated, kind of like someone's just pushed it to the side a little bit, but it's like everybody's pushed it exactly the same. Um, Alright, so we need a table, so... Let's say the table would be... Like that. It only needs, the room only needs to be that big. That's about it. Uh, so we'll go... Get a thing there, we'll get a window there and there. I don't know why I'm at that angle, but this building is also real bland. It has the same walls everywhere, but whatever. All right, office, I'm actually going to set that back to the default style, because we set it to white before. This will be our little meeting room in here. Like that. There you go. Absolutely beautiful meeting room. Uh, we'll get some wall lights, because I think ground lights will be too hard. Yeah, we got lights in there. We didn't get many lights in the hallway, though, did we? Or in the server, we didn't get any of the server rooms, let's get some of that now. Um, 
decoration we need. So let's go like that. There we go. What's this room looking like now? 132% just by doing that. Good. So we're going to assign, we'll assign these rooms all to the core team just so that it's specifically used by us only. There we go. Uh, cool. So let's go reception. We'll get some seating in here for like when we hire, when we actually hire maintenance staff rather than just contracting them. I might get to go in the middle of that if I can. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that's going to block the door if I really put it there. Uh, let me half the grid again. Sort of shove it over there a little bit more. And then this one can go similar sort of thing, but over there. Yeah. And there's plenty of room to walk in, hopefully, without tripping over. Uh, cool. Reset the grid. And now we've got a little bit of a software office. Look at that. Uh, so let's get out of this. Let's check the temperatures of all the rooms. It's equalizing. That that room is very loud with the uh, all the stuff in there. Uh, we got 50% decoration in there. It's all good. Uh, what? Not wire mode, get out of wire mode. I wanted to go into servers and rename that just so we know. Uh, core dev, when we get more teams. So we want to hire five more people. Uh, we'll probably just end up making more small applications, so we'll just get general people. Uh, actually, you know what? No, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. So we're going to get a system programmer. We'll just max out everything, see who we get. All right, so let's go order by skill. I don't want anyone too old because then they ret retire real quick. How about you? Ah, oh, bad compatibility. Normal compatibility? Compatibility? You're in. Welcome. Welcome to the company. Uh, and let's get a designer. You can be a system designer as well. There we go. Skill 100% though. Look at that. Uh, let's just have a look at this down here before I look at the ages and that. 37 and good. You're in. Welcome. Uh, so that's the designer. We'll get an artist. Uh, get a 2D artist, I guess. Why not? Okay, who have we got? So you're good, but you're 55. A little too old. 39? Oh, you're beautiful. Get in here. So how many? I think that was four people I hired, was it? I guess, um, no, I had three people. I guess we should hire an actual team lead. Because I, I'm not the best leader. I don't have the most lead skill. Ah, screw it. Let's not hire a team lead. I'll just make myself the lead. Uh, let's go for another designer. Designers are always useful. Let's get a... Uh, I did system. Let's get a 2D designer. Like that. Okay, who have we got? Someone normal. Green normal, 56. Eh, good, 38. All right, you're in. Welcome. And then we'll get another programmer. We did 2D. No, we did system before, so let's get a 2D. Actually, you know what? Let's get an audio programmer. There we go. Uh, normal green 48. 48 is not too bad. Uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll go the 48er. No, not you. That one. And you got really good skill too. I feel like I may be over expanding a little too quickly. Uh, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, see. Oh, also, I, by the way, literally while recording this video, I got a tweet back from uh, the Software Inc. Twitter account. And he confirmed that he'd be adding in the uh, confirmation on the cancel button that I was talking about earlier. So, oh yeah, skull one for flabs. Uh, no, but that would be really useful. Thanks, buddy. Probably not watching this video, but thanks, buddy. So let's get in some, no, let's not worry about what's on their desks yet. We'll assign desks and then we can give them the little bonus features or whatever the hell those things do. Um, all right, so when they come in tomorrow, we will wait until the next episode, I think. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll, I'll let you, you let you tell me what to do. Uh, so next episode, we'll have everybody in here. We're not going to do an operating system. We could do a game, but I think that might be still a little bit risky. I think we'll have to do go back to do... I think we need another crack at a visual tool. We need to do another visual tool because the first one absolutely flopped. So leave suggestions for the name of it in the comments of this episode. And we'll see how we go. And then I'll choose whatever. And thumbs up your favorite name suggestions because I'll choose that one. And it will be awesome. Let's just see how much money we get tomorrow before I... Before I jump out of the window here. And by jumping out of the window, I mean out of the window of the game and stopping recording. Uh, 79,000, not too bad, except all in clothes. Eight bucks per month. All right, so we got 255,000 in the bank. Not too shabby. Everyone should shop today. Here they all are. We could probably do with actually hiring cleaning too. We'll have them come in after everyone gets to work, so maybe 9 a.m. Uh, that'll give them time to clean up. Oh, look at them in the toilet. Nice. All right. But yeah, leave your suggestions for a uh, image tool. Actually, you know what? Before we go, I want to see what happens with a day of marketing with all of these guys. Because uh, there's more people. Yeah, leave your suggestion for an image tool. Uh, name down below. Like I said, thumb up your favorite one. See how we go. And I just want to see 
if all these people marketing makes much difference. They're still pretty slow, I guess because none of them are marketed, so it's really not helping out. But we'll see what happens. Let's see, it probably gets way less, I bet. Yeah, 33,000. That's alright. Alright, so next part will be soon. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.